We are at Ballard High School and we are preparing for the Beatles vs. Stones concert. Two tribute bands uh, that play Beatles vs. Stones song and they just have kind of a musical showdown. It's just a good time, good for the audience. I've definitely listened to both of them a good amount. I am definitely a Rolling, Sto a Rolling Stones girl. I knew most of the Beatles songs. I've never really listened to the Stones. I know a few of them, but I've never really listened to many of them. These particular songs I did not know. I am, however, aware of some of the Beatles songs. I'm more of a Beatles than a Stones fan, of course. A lot of the Beatles and Rolling Stones music involves string quartet music and strings in it. It's like a really big part of the music, so we'll be playing those string parts that you hear in the normal songs, such as Eleanor Rigby. I am a little nervous just because we haven't done it with the actual bands yet, and our first time doing that will be on Thursday, the day of the performance. But other than that, I'm really excited, and I think it's a spectacular opportunity. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling confident. I feel like I know the music well. And I think that it'll be a really fun experience. I've played in front of people before, and so I'm feeling really excited about it. Kind of a new experience to be like in a professional gig, because I've never done pop music such as the Beatles and Stones. I usually just play classical. So it'll just be interesting to play in a setting like that where people actually pay to come see us. It's a lot of like individual work. The quartet, we don't have a lot of melody like the main part that people remember and that's all left to like the band. I think this is sort of like a milestone experience especially coming off of COVID-19 of course and it's like basically our first big concert with a lot of people since COVID so I think it's going to be a very very fun and entertaining event.